Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, today is Friday 19th of February and also wishing you an amazing weekend ahead. We have some cool plans scheduled so stay tuned to find them out tomorrow, uh, but today we're going to give you a couple of interesting updates regarding the car, also Tom Stamp will have to say something later on, but first let's talk about the ring tractor. This of course the project car that requires no further introduction, I don't want to repeat though the whole story that we did already multiple times, so want to save your time, but as you know, last couple of months it was kind of a drag, not a drag race, but just like frustrating because of the COVID, because of Brexit and everything related to that, because lots of parts are made or built in UK and it was just like things that were supposed to be here three months ago only arrived here literally today so we're gonna talk about about that but first i want to tell you as mentioned in one of the previous vlogs the engine has been built and dark side developments made a video of it they sent it to me i also made a video of that and we're gonna release our videos on wednesday so on wednesday you get to see what engine is going to go in there i'll tell you immediately without over exaggerating or making things nicer sound nicer than they are when i saw the engine it finally sparked the enthusiasm that i had in the first place with the car because I was just like oh my god all these things it made me buy a second car because that's how much I was losing hope for this but another important piece of the puzzle that we were waiting for were bushings from Powerflex because we needed to put all the old parts from the crash string tractor onto this and bushings were a very important part be before we could proceed with putting the suspension on and later on of course the engine so Unfortunately, this is not the engine from Darkside Developments, but the bushing, so we're gonna unbox them together with these things. I'm currently waiting for George, who is at Manti Racing, uh, because I think it's going to be nicer to unbox it together with him, so he can give some comments, because I remember what everything is, is but he can tell you what is it for, and uh, what... Uh, what he thinks of it as a Mark IV Golf owner and of course as our head mechanic of Apex. So, fast forward to when George is here. And the Opus is here. Yes, so we can start the unboxing therapy. All right, the most interesting things are in here, but I actually want to start with this because I already had this box, but I haven't shown it before. Oh, the door goes open. Oh, what's going to happen? So you're going to probably move the M3. Ah. Oh. One minute. Okay. <laughs> 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 Let all the heat out. Do you know what this is? It's a piece of metal. Yes, good job. In the shape of a steering rack mount. Yes, because the original it's kind of like rubber and this is what they have from Mark 5 and Mark 6, VI, Mark 7 on. Mm -hmm. So it should give some extra steering rigidity. Then we have... Pretty cool. Yeah, you know like the shifter... Yeah, I'm things. confused because I'm seeing CV grease in with the, sh but then this yeah, is they just the they're probably yeah, because they the shifter bushes. Yeah, yeah shifter bushes, yep. so it should make sure shifter more rigid <laughs> that is a cv boot for the you know like two cv boots ago so if you need one or if i will need one you definitely 100 percent need one with well i'll need 600 newton meters of torque no doubt i know so let's definitely keep that in the niche i'll keep that especially with your clutch kicking out of carousel clutch kicking out of you carousel don't, i'm just saying it because it's funny. okay uh, anyway subframe subframe yeah. deadening kit so should not move as well. All right. Yeah, because the Mark IV subframe bushes are pretty shit. Yeah, well, I think it's just rubber, so. And now, let's unpack the engine. If only. RC car engine. Yeah. Oh, so this is like, basically we could just insert the unboxing clip from the first video. Yeah. <laughs> Almost, not completely, because first of all, this is all black, this is not purple. So, you know the great thing about these bushes in Germany? Tell me. Is they're exempt from TÜV. Oh, that's nice. Which a lot of TÜV guys should take note of. Ah. The problems I had with it. I even have letters to prove it. Ooh, caster plates. These are your favorite ones? Oh. <laughs> the rear beam bushings. I mean, I already have the, what's it called? The solid engine mount, so might as well go with black stuff anyway. It's not gonna go any difference. These are cool. So these are caster adjustable. Yeah, for the front, front control arms. Yeah. Yeah. So they're the rear, the front rear bushes. Mm -hmm. Like, the, I've not seen these in the per, in person yet. I've never had to use these before, so they're pretty cool. Yeah. Look at the little tiny C spanner. Oh. Oh, how cute! You can have that afterwards. Well, I mean, I'm going to be setting the suspension up anyway, so. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, we forgot to mention that we have the... Well, yeah, not yet. Well, it's okay. not the full kit yet. But... Okay, we'll mention it another time. Well, we can mention it, just not show yet. Yeah, okay, well, what's it called? Well, the alignment have... rack. Yeah, we have all the alignment tables, string. We've got a nice set rather than just one that you hang on the front, front of the bumper. We've got like a, a Sherma spec set. Yeah, nice. Then we have the front anti-roller kit. I think we have two of those. Or was we could it have done this way? tomorrow when it was 15 degrees. When it's going to be 15 degrees. I know, but we already have other plans tomorrow. Oh, look. <laughs> Why is it purple? Why not black? <laughs> uh, these don't need to be black. I don't know much is what these are for. I've not seen this kit yet. What it's probably it's maybe for the for the Audi one. Oh, it's the oh, it's a roast. Oh, okay, interesting. I've not seen these yet either. These are the front wishbone bushes. Yeah. But Ooh. they're roast joints, so they're uniballs. Nice. That should be fancy. They should be interesting to fit. Uh, the, a lot more of these. Is that also eccentric? Do I have them twice? What, what is this for? Might be two different sizes. No, front subframe mounting bush. So is that different? Right, so that's no that's the no. rear that's the that's the wishbone rear, wishbone front. How is this? Front subframe. Front subframe mounting bush. Oh yeah, so these will be the bushes that press into the subframe. Uh-huh. So maybe you have these twice because these are the same as the metal ones, I guess. We just go on to the actual into the subframe itself. Ah, uh, so that's what I did. Because the original ones crumble and yeah. they just disintegrate and the subframe allows me So is this the same as, as the metal mine. stuff? To be honest, if you have two sets, I'll buy one off you anyway. So, okay. Because mine are destroyed. Probably the same thing, they're just solid. These are not. Right. Well, thank you very much. And now on to Tom Stamp's life and washing machine. Bonjour. Hello. Oui, oui. And for the rest, for this amazing Friday content, what are we doing? It's very exciting. Road trip. We are giving my washing machine to Big Mike. Oh wow, is it in the back? Of course it is. There it is, look. Nice, is it secured? Uh, yeah. Secure with yeah. me. Are you secure? I think I'm pretty secure. Hmm. More secure than me. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, let me run you through the specs. It's white, it's boxing, powerful, 12,000 RPM. 12,000? 12, no, I think it's 1,200 actually. But... Oh. And uh, <laughs> I hope it's gonna do Mike, you know, well. Yeah. Why are you why why are you giving the washing machine to him? Are you like the good Samaritan now? I just I just don't need it. Oh, just, just like that. And, I mean, the story is that he's he's uh, got this washing machine, but he needs to get it fixed. And it, the the quote he got for getting it fixed was three hundred and sixty euro. Wow. So I was like, well, you can just have mine. It's pretty much brand new. Nice. Was, oh, there he is. Look. That was, oh, that was quick, wasn't it? That's, that was quick. Where does he live? Hey, do you want to buy a washing machine? Okay, yeah. Sounds good. I've okay. got one. Uh, you should back up to that corner there. Oh, we're gonna do a sneaky deal. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should film this. Oh, yeah. You should stop it. <laughs> you guys in trouble. Oh, well, let's reverse it. Okay. Show us your skills. But do you want to say actual, the actual reason why you're getting rid of the washing yeah. machine? I mean, I guess I can announce it. So, um, I am going to be changing my role slightly. Um, and I am going to be helping Robert with his YouTube channel. I, th I, I thought you were just be going and going to be driving the van. No. <laughs> I do love driving it though. No, so I'm going to be doing that, which means that I'm moving closer to where Robert's base is in Rammstein. So, I don't need the washing machine anymore because my flat is going to be up for rent. So, if anybody was looking for a very nice apartment in the Nürburgring area, Email you or Tim Morley Racing? Uh, me or Tim. Just send us a DM. Yes. Best way to do it. But um, I'll need to go further back. I can't. I'm not <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the reason why. Okay. Cool. Well. Yeah, so, be basically, it's going to be cool because we're going to be able to film more with you as well. Yes. We've got some exciting projects planned for the year. So, oh, you're getting kicked out. Oh. Apparently, my heating is broken. There's a little bit of water in the basement. Do, do you have a heating for sale down for Mike? Hmm? I've got underfloor heating. I mean, he's got a whole so, apartment. You might as well take it. Just take my apartment. <laughs> I, mean, I got also underfloor heating, sort of, yeah. but much wetter. Underfloor flooding. Oh no. We'll stay tuned for that. No. Where are we going then? Look at that beautiful machine. Yeah. I, I think it's pretty okay. I think it's okay. Yeah. 
It's okay for me if it's okay for you, Mike. Yeah, and you'll be always on my way. Oh, that's nice, that. Yep. I also got you a little bit of a gift, Mike. Um, some some uh, washing powder, well, gel for you. That's for you, that. I'm on it. It's about three quarters used. Don't forget about that. <laughs> the, I like our alternative more to put the brick in it and film it and. Yeah, <laughs> googly eyes here and here. Yeah. Yeah, we would do that. As you can tell, we're really struggling for content here in Nurburg. Yep, we're filming washing machines. But we're doing what we can. Exactly. This is daily life. To, to bring people daily content in these struggling, difficult times. Yeah. But I had an idea about fitting this van out with um, some GPUs and doing a little uh, Ether mine on the go. Yeah. Mining well, to go. Yeah. Good. Two weeks ago would have been good with, with the frost we had, but now it's no, going to be like no. plus 15 and I don't think it's going to work. Just typical networking things when temperature changes so drastically. <laughs> oh well. In, yeah, let's get this bad boy. I, I think Mike needs no help, he'll be fine oh. by himself. Maybe. Oh no, there's water coming out. I mean, a little more, a little less. I reckon you've got that on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Through uh, tru your knees, Bora. Through your knees. Not through your back. I'm still young. He's, ah. he's strong. He, he's a strong boy. He's preparing for the French Revolution. I've done well here, haven't I, Yeah. He already has a washing machine. Why is he having another one? It's broken. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Oh, oh. Achtung, achtung. All right. I'm going to get this. This is going to go on my Wait, 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 wait. Not through your back, Mike. Through your knees. Careful, boys. It's brand new. <laughs> not anymore. It's not gonna be okay anymore after this. Yes. Look at that. I think there'll be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I see the issue why this one was broken because it was just like just a median, yeah, but this yeah. one's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Congratulations, Mike, with this amazing Very improvement nice of your uh, life you situation. Pool. <laughs> nice! Yeah, that's, the, that's the problem, I just discovered it. Well, I wouldn't turn that hoover on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> on oh, that carpet! It's like, if you have it like times 20, that would be like a Russian carpet that you hang on the wall. But what, What's all this? My landlord is a painter, so... Oh, I thought you were making yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> this is like some weird science experiment you had going on in the basement. Nice. Well, okay. It's well, already making noise, huh? No, this is this. Uh, it's a dehumidifier, which it's got some work now. Enjoy the washing machine, Mike. See you. Well, and on that note, I think we can say goodbye, comrades. Mission success. Yes, and that was a good way of uh, yeah. spending our Friday. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. as mentioned, I don't think I'll be missing you, Tom, because I'll be seeing you I'm quite gonna often. See you every, I'm going to see you more. Because yes. basically, whenever I see you, will be probably most weeks, and we'll be filming. And we've got a lot of cool ideas, which I don't know if I'm allowed to say yet, so I'll, I'll leave it, but basically we're going to be building some cool things, we're going to be filming a lot of cool stuff, and... Uh, construction works, uh, vlogs 2.0. Construction vlogs, I'm very excited, there's a lot going to be happening this year, so... Yeah. It's all good news, to nice. be honest, I think. Anyway. Cool. Well, good luck with your new endeavours. Thank you, I'm excited. And looking forward to working together. Of course, man. As always, hopefully we'll do some more London trips. Oh yeah, I rem remember those times. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm hoping it's going to lead to more stuff like that again. So. Yeah, would be nice. If COVID oh, allows. No. Oh look at this. Look at this. Oh. At this. You can't clean that off the front though, can you? No. 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 Look at that. There's three guys cleaning that. Mm. Watch this. Oh. I hope he gets fired. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, wouldn't have done that. Oh. Uh. Oh well. I think George wants you. In a non sexual way. Yeah? Oh, right, Misha, get out of the car, you lazy fuck. Why? I want to show you something. Okay. I'm going to show you what happens with these Irish boys who think that Mark IV Golf is an A86. Show it. Jimmy Handbrake ribs, look. How <laughs> have <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's managed to somehow rip the handbrake cables out of the handbrake. Nice! <laughs> so the handbrake just does that. Good job. On that note, stay tuned, subscribe, like and share for more fixing stuff with George. Oh. <laughs>